everybody, it's Rose and welcome to my randomosity. Today's video is coming up, it'll probably be on Tuesday and before I get into my February and March favorites, um, I want to explain why because I know I made the announcement like two videos ago that I would upload a video guaranteed every Saturday. Well, if you would have seen my video um, my last upload, I said at the end how, you know, last Saturday, the 26th of April, was my birthday, and, um, I would still try to get a video up, no matter what, and film it probably that Friday. Well, if you follow me on Instagram, or Twitter, you would probably get a good general idea of something that's happened to me recently, or not to me specifically, but that's happened in my personal life, um, I'm not going to get too detailed about it because it's still fresh. It happened exactly a week ago, um, Monday, April 21st. Um, I found out like at 6 a.m. because that's when I finally woke up to a bunch of missed calls and text messages. Um, a friend of mine tragically passed away. It still really does not make sense to me. I know things happen for a reason, but I'm still trying to grasp, um, why my friend Jonathan was taken at a peak part of his life, you know, at such a young age. Um, at the end of this video, I'll have, like, a little moment of silence for him, and I won't really talk about this in more detail until whenever I decide to film my April favorites, because in that video, I'll talk about it more and talk about him as a person. Um, but yeah, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, mainly Instagram, because I posted probably three, no, I think I posted four or five things in reference to, to him, um, yeah, so my week last week was just horrible, um, yesterday, uh, today's Monday, actually, yesterday, Sunday was my first day back home, I stayed the weekend with friends, um, you know, we had to deal with his wake and his funeral Friday, and all that, and I hate to say, me sitting down and getting this done and uploading this video, um, Saturday was like the last thing on my mind, so I do apologize, but because this video is being uploaded today, again, not the one that something like this does not happen again, um, uh, you'll get a second video this week, this Saturday, so. But anyway, enough about depressing crap. Uh, let me get into my favorites. This video is going to be about my February and March favorites. Um, I combined the two months because I didn't really have many favorites for, for February alone. So I just kind of let it build up. And so now I'm giving you my February and March. And I know it's the end of April. I should throw in my April favorites. But because it's only the 28th, my stubborn self doesn't want to do it in case I randomly fall in love with something in the next two days, which I know makes no sense at all. Let me get started. Mm. And I only have one thing. Uh, these will be featured in my next empties video, which will probably be... I hate to put up, like, two empties videos back-to-back, -back, but it'll probably be the next video that I film. But this is the Maybelline Clean Express Facial Towelettes. I had a trowel pack of, like, 25 wipes. These are all free. Um, besides me loving, like, the Neutrogena ones... I thought these worked really well. Um, one thing I will say is that these are very moist. I had a friend, uh, I crashed at a friend's house and she needed something to put on a Q-tip to get, like, her eyeliner off and all she had to do was just stick her Q-tip into this opening and her Q-tip was saturated enough to remove her eyeliner with no problem. Um, I almost feel like these are a little too moist where my face would look clean but if I took a tissue you would see, like, some residue still on my face. But besides that, I thought these worked really well. Um, I used these, of course, nights where I didn't feel like washing my face, but mainly to remove my makeup before, um, actually washing my face in the bathroom, so. And I do think these are a little bit cheaper than, uh, the Neutrogena wipes, so. Um, I do my, I do see myself repurchasing this, uh, I'm actually curious about the liquid, like the the liquid eye makeup remover that I have, so don't be surprised if you see me trying that next.
Okay, these next two things don't really make sense for the fact that I like these because these are the completely wrong color. As you can see, these are for blonde hair. But I use them anyway. I got these forever ago in an influencer box that I did a video on a gazillion months ago. But these are the, the twisty, I don't even know what these are called, but the, I know these are by Goody and they'll be linked down below. But these are basically like updo pins, like the only bobby pins you would need. And I know when I first used these, I didn't really like them because I didn't use them correctly. The next hair thing you've seen me talk about because I've complained about how expensive this is. But this is the Alterna Bamboo Smooth Candy Oil Pure Treatment Oil. This is expensive as crap, but it's fantastic. It actually helps repair the hair. It gets rid of frizz. This is something that I leave in my hair. I don't rinse this out. And, um... Yeah, it works great. A little goes a long way. Um, unfortunately, when this sucker is empty, I do see myself repurposing this. Now, this next thing I'm slightly aggravated about because I've had some issues with it. Um, and I do plan on doing an extensive video on this new me item. And I find it mainly aggravating because when I first got this in, I didn't really see any YouTube videos on it. This was probably about three or four months ago. And then, all of a sudden, I guess Numi started to send uh, this curling wand out to, like, the bigger beauty gurus. And then they started to put up videos. And, yeah, I'm too late. But I am going to still film my personal video about this to share with you the problems that I've had. And how Numi customer service took care of everything. But this is the Newman Titan 3 curling wand. It's a titanium curling wand set. comes with three rods. And um, the one that I mostly use is the smallest one. But yeah, it looks like this, pretty snazzy. This thing is expensive as crap, but if you use a phenomenal, great coupon code, which if I can find it, I'll link below. I think this set is like 240 bucks, but I got it for like $89, I think. But, um, yeah, I know I just uploaded that heatless curl tutorial, but I've had a lot of special things come up where I want it structured really defined curls and the curls that I have right now are from this curling wand and actually these curls are almost a week old. Yes, but the way that I do them, I like them to be loose, not tight. Um, almost like beachy waves, whatever you would call them. Uh, but yeah, expect a more extensive video on this thing. Um, I've used this probably six or seven times now and I think I've completely mastered this so a phenomenal curling wand. First thing I'm going to show you the writing is completely off but I will link it if you saw my latest late julep unboxing video you would seen it. This is like the julep blank canvas mattifying primer. Uh, this primer I have not used a primer in forever I'm not really a huge fan of them because I feel like it's an unnecessary step, but this primer is great because if you had seen my Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation review, you would know that that foundation made me extremely oily throughout the day. And this actually, I saw a difference when I layered this underneath the primer or underneath the foundation. But on another note, due to the recent events of my personal life with my friend passing. I've had quite a few nights where I didn't wash my face and I went to bed. It was a horrible thing you do to your skin, but I went to bed with my makeup on. I did not wake up the following mornings with huge zits like I normally do because I do, in fact, believe this primer successfully created a barrier between my pores and the makeup so that it prevented it from clogging my pores and causing a ginormous zit to erupt on my face. So, um, Besides the mattifying properties and the long wear and creating a barrier, this is a fantastic primer. It's expensive as shit. I think it's like $28. Um, if you're Julep Maven, though, I know you can save like 20%, I think, off on it. But it works great. I don't know once I run out of this, am I going to jump back into the whole routine of using a primer? underneath my foundation, but if any of you guys have a recommendation on a really good primer to use on oily skin, please leave it in a comment below because, um, yeah, I appreciate the fact when I have my lazy nights, me not waking up with a ginormous zit on my face.
Next thing is by MAC is their Select Sheer Press Powder, and I am NC45, and I believe that color is a little bit too dark for me. But it's a simple compact. As you can see, I've used the crap out of it. And this is just a great powder. I've used this for quite a few months, and as you can see, I've, I've hit pan on it, but it's not um, remotely even close to being completely empty. Um, I don't use this alone, but I'm pretty sure if I did, it would give a little bit of coverage. But um, it just adds a great layer of coverage, helps set my makeup, take the shine away. Um, when I first started wearing higher end makeup and stopped using drugstore back in my early 20s, MAC was like the brand that I used religiously for like three years straight, and then I just stopped. Mainly because I think I used their Studio Fix Cream to Powder makeup, and then I stopped liking that powder and just completely stopped using MAC altogether. Um, but this is a great powder, just select sheer press powder. I definitely recommend it if you're oily, um, and if you're using, or if you're looking for a higher end, just better coverage type powder. Definitely try this. First thing, I don't have to show you, but if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen the picture. But my first random favorite is me getting my passport, and I finally got it in the mail in February. I've been waiting on that sucker actually for not that long. I just applied, like, within the last, I think it took less than three weeks for me to get it, to be honest. Um, but some of you guys know, um, out there in the YouTube world, and quite a few of my personal friends know, but I am going to Europe in July. It's that second Tuesday in July through like the 17th or something like that. Um, I believe we're going to London first. Me and my parents, we're going to London. And then we're going to Paris. And then I think Rome. So, so excited to have my passport. Just having it is just convenient to have because I got invited to go on a cruise like sometime last fall and couldn't go because one, I didn't know where my passport was or where my birth certificate was. And then two, I didn't have a passport. But anyway, the next random favorite is a website slash app I've never heard of. I am not affiliated with them. Just wanted to throw that out there. I may set up a shop there soon, but when I do, I'll announce it somehow. Just because I have plenty of clothes that I don't wear. Some that's been used, some that's gently used, and some that still has tags on it. But Poshmark is this great website and app that you can go to and use to basically shop showrooms that regular people like you and me put up that sell um, clothing, shoes, accessories, stuff like that. And uh, I believe there are some big YouTubers out there that have shops set up um, where they personally sell their clothes. But long story short, I went to a wedding last month and I left my sheer Material Girl black blazer that I've featured in a few videos before. And I know somebody nabbed it because I called the venue back. It wasn't in their lost and found. And my friend that got married, uh, he said he would contact his wedding planner and no one knows where my blazer is. It magically disappeared. But anyway, that was a limited edition piece that um, is seasonal. And I first got it like two years ago. So I knew the department store that I got it from wouldn't have it. Where well, I googled couldn't find it anywhere, not even on eBay, and this random chick, who has no idea that I'm, I'm going to talk about her right now, um, actually had one, brand new with tags, half a size smaller than the size I originally had, but still, I napped it anyway. Anyway, she was selling it on her Poshmark, uh, showroom, so, yes, this blazer that I feature that I've loved, lost it within a weekend, well, that following weekend, I had it back in my possession. Um, it's an extra small. The one I had, I believe, was a small. But I would definitely make this work somehow. But yeah, Poshmark. Let's say you're in my situation. If you're looking for something that you've lost, something that you have seen seasons ago, definitely a good uh, place to check out. Just because some things are gently used, they'll be sold at discounted prices. So Poshmark, check it out. And the last random favorite I have to share, if some of you guys have been observant to my channel, specifically my banner, you would know that I belong to a network now, the Style Hall Network. Before any of you guys say, oh, they accept anybody, 
I really don't give a crap just because my channel is so small. I actually got an offer from Creative Nation, I think is what they were called, from one of their um, MCNs, I think is what the initials are, like one of their smaller micro whatever networks. It was mainly like a gaming network, but they had all sorts of channels, and I guess me being involved with them would have brought like some new audience to their network, but due to timing, I was getting um, a payment and stuff like that, and I was trying to wait for that to go through before accepting their offer. That fell through, and then Style Hall offered me to join theirs, so that explains uh, some minor changes to my videos that I don't know if any of you guys have noticed, and then me going on a regular schedule, so... Yes, thank you, Style Hall, for welcoming me to your family, because I know I've gone to some of the smaller um, YouTubers that belong to you guys, and a lot of them have so many more subscribers than I do, so I definitely feel special to be a part of the family, so... Style Hall, check them out. Um, they have their own channel, too, so... But anyway, this is it. If I seem kind of off in this video, not quite myself, you know why. Um, again, I'm not going to talk about my friend John in this video because it's only been a week ago and it's still fresh and I don't want to get emotional on here. Um, but I will have a moment of silence for him at this video to show my respects and then in my next favorites video, um, I may talk about him more. Um, I can think of a couple of videos on my channel, a couple of vlogs where he's made appearances in. Um, I won't name them right now, but, um maybe possibly in if I talk about this more um you'll hear about that more this is it again this is Rose from Minor Animosity thank you so much for watching this crap and if you're not already subscribed subscribe and become a part of my random family and until next time I hope you all have a good day and hopefully you'll be hearing again from me soon Saturday